people learning a second or subsequent language do not master grammatical structures in an all or nothing manner. Instead, learners' grammatical knowledge builds slowly and evolves from a complete lack of the structure when the learner first encounters it towards mastery of the structure. In between these two points, a learner's grammar takes intermediary forms. To illustrate this idea, we will explore a story about someone learning how to construct the present tense negative using the example, I do not speak English, and its contraction, I don't speak English. While this is a very useful piece of language for beginning learners, it is also a very complex grammatical structure. It involves, among other things, the dummy verb do, the negative not, contractions, and subject verb agreement. I do, but he does. Imagine a native Spanish-speaking woman just beginning to learn English. She wants to use the present tense negative. At first, she doesn't know anything about the rules to construct this in English. So, she uses the negative word no, which is shared between English and Spanish, and borrows the rule from Spanish for this construction. That rule allows her to drop the subject pronoun. She says, no speak English. Later, as she learns more about English sentence structure, she realizes that the subject is not optional. And she starts to say, I no speak English. As time goes by, she frequently hears the word don't in conversation. So she picks it up too and begins to say, I don't speak English. This sentence is perfectly accurate in form, but she's using the don't without understanding its components or the rule that produces it. So she makes mistakes and overuses don't, saying also, he don't speak English and I don't can drive. At this point in her language acquisition, don't is a single vocabulary word for making negatives, not a contraction produced by do plus not. Some time later, she starts taking English classes. In class, she studies the present progressive tense, including how to construct negatives, such as, I'm not talking. Some of this information bleeds over into her grammar for the simple present as well. She starts saying, I'm not speak English. Notice that although she has actually learned something new about English, the sentences she produces now have errors, where before they did not. Over time, she gets additional lessons contrasting the simple present and present progressive. She also increases how much she learns from conversation with improved listening skills. She starts to separate the two structures. She learns that to make a negative in simple present, she needs the dummy verb do. Now she can produce, I do not speak English. Still, she has not yet mastered the subject verb agreement rule. So she also says, he do not speak English. It is only much later after more listening and lessons and communicative practice that she finally masters the subject verb agreement rule and the rule that produces the contractions don't and doesn't. Now she says, I don't speak English. And also, he doesn't speak English. After all the intermediary stages, she finally has the same rules in her learner grammar that a native speaker has in his. Her performance will probably not be 100% accurate. She will make mistakes, even though she has internalized the rules, but she has learned the grammar. And in the future, she will only need review and reinforcement of this structure in order to maintain her level of mastery of it. Of course, by this time she's lying if she says, I don't speak English.